Ever feel like you're just not doing enough damage, and no matter what items you pick up, you're still having trouble taking out anything past stage 4? Well, I may have the solution to your problem, and the best part is, it's a super simple fix. Today we're going to talk about damage scaling, and how you can get the maximum value from your items. If you have one, just one, of every raw damage increasing item in the game, so one crowbar, one watch, one focus crystal, one lens maker, one armor piercing round, one shaped glass, one laser scope, and a radiant pearl and tonic, without even taking into consideration stuff like bands and ATGs. With these items alone, you're looking at a whopping 3,710% damage increase, or 37 times more damage. To put that in perspective, you would need 186 delicate watches to achieve the same effect as these 9 items. This is because damage from different sources is multiplicative, while damage from the same source is additive. So with a watch, focus crystal, and armor piercing round, it would be 20% to the power of 3, and if you're stacking the same item, it would be 20% times 3. Basically what this means is you can exponentially increase a damage item's value every time you get a new source. The only exception being shaped glass, where additional stacks will always multiply your damage output by 2. And you might be thinking, hey. That example was kind of far-fetched. How often are you going to see an irradiant pearl or a laser scope, let alone in the same run? And that's a fair point. The majority of the items in that example were white, and we only used one of them. So what if we have five of just the white damage increasing items? A bit hard to do, but somewhat reasonable. So five crowbars, five watches, five APRs, five focus crystals, and five crit. You'd be looking at a 5,625% damage increase on average, or 56 times the damage. Realistically, it would either be 37.5 times or 75 times, depending on whether you crit or not, but either way. No, that's a lot of damage! Risk of Rain 2 isn't really something you can look at in a vacuum. Every run is different and loot is randomized. So as fun as it is to discuss the best red and most OP items, most of the time, those aren't concepts you can really put into practice. Maybe if you have a recycler or are using the red soup at the bazaar, and even then, you still have very little control over your reds. However, white items are in a unique position because they make up the bulk of your items in any given run. It's very feasible to have at least one of every white item in your inventory. They're also the items you have the most control over. Red printers are super rare and only spawn late game, but you are going to be seeing white printers and multi-shops on nearly every stage. So knowing what white items to prioritize is possibly the most important thing you can learn. So when a situation comes up where, say, you're not dealing enough damage, Oftentimes there is something you can do about it. Hopefully by now I've made a strong case for a variety of damage sources being your best course of action. Obviously items like focus crystals are much better on melee survivors, and attack speed is another important way to deal damage. Attack speed is different than these guys though because it's additive and I believe caps at a certain point, so I usually don't go into it too heavily unless I have a bleed build going or something. I very quickly want to cover crowbars because I believe this item is misunderstood. Every stack of this item increases your damage by 75% to enemies above 90% health. I used to dislike this item because I figured stuff like like gas, ukes, and wisps would waste this item and make it kind of pointless, but that's not exactly true. This item increases damage from all of those sources, and will a wisp specifically combo great with this, to the point where wisp crowbar is one of the strongest synergies in the entire game. But also consider the following. 10 crowbars will increase your damage output on the first attack by 750%, but add in 5 watches and crit, and you've just turned those 10 crowbars into 40 crowbars for a 30 times damage increase. Add in 1 focus crystal, and you're looking at a 36 times damage multiplier. If they hit that strong, even if it does get wasted by a ukulele, you're only losing 20% of that damage, so you will very likely one-shot everything. I just thought this was a cool little concept, it might be incredibly obvious, and all of you are sitting here going, yeah, all damage is multiplied, duh. Embarrassingly enough, this is actually something I didn't fully understand until I was a good 2,000 hours in, so I figured I didn't know this, so there's a good chance other people don't either. But if you did learn something, leave a like. As much as I hate asking, it really does help these videos get seen by more people. Also, this coming Sabbath, on May 29th, Scavenger Bingo. This is a huge crossover event between eight of the coolest streamers in the community and me. This is a very well put together event. We'll be completing various challenges in teams of three. I am on a team with the great Wooly Gaming and Gamer Host. So tune in to pigpiss.com, May 29th, 3 p.m. EST. 7 p.m. GMT for the winning POV. All right, ta-ta for now.